goes down a vicious, nasty slam. Hello and welcome to Six Sports. I'm Steve Kearney. And I'm Nicholas DiCarlo. A crazy day last night in sports, including Kobe Bryant and his final game. The Golden State Warriors make history. The Blue Jays' bats finally get going. And the Maple Leafs invest in their future. And of course, a Raptors preview. But first off, Nick, we got to get right into Kobe Bryant, the Black Mamba. Goes out in style with 60 points out to Staples Center. Pretty impressive career. Oh, a very impressive career. 20 years with the Los Angeles Lakers, an absolutely fantastic career. Five NBA championships with the team, a great send-off last night. 60 points for Kobe Bryant, but he did shoot a lot. It seemed like every time he was going down the floor, he was taking a shot. But hey, what do you expect in a man playing his final game in the NBA? Yeah, exactly. Going out in style, five rings to his name, and a ton of former players there to greet him, including Shaq. Finally making amends of Kobe, that was pretty cool to see. Oh, it was pretty cool to see all the players there. A lot of people there, Shaq, Jay-Z was there, Jack Nicholson. There was a lot of celebrities in the crowd there taking in his final game. It was just a great spectacle last night. Yeah, and speaking of spectacles and final games, let's talk about the final game of the regular season for the Golden State Warriors. And they get it done. They break the record from the Chicago Bulls. 72-10 and 10 season. They do it one better, 73-9. and nine. Nick, this team is unbelievable. Man, 73 wins out of 82 regular season games. That's impressive. 72 and 10 was a Chicago Bulls record, but they beat that. They just smashed it last night. Scored 125 points against the Memphis Grizzlies in their final game. It's going to be tough for any other teams to beat them in this postseason. I only see the San Antonio Spurs being able to challenge them out of the West, but out of the East, you got to think the Cleveland Cavaliers are the only person in that team that could challenge this team in the postseason to stop them from getting their second straight NBA championship. Oh, 100%, Nick. And you really got to look over to Steph Curry again. Looks like he's going to win MVP once again. 403 pointers in a season, the first time anyone's done that because, well, he's the only person to be anywhere near that. He broke the record this year, of course. This guy is just an amazing shooter, probably one of the best of all time. And it's just pretty cool to see a guy that good. It's pretty cool to see a guy that good as well as a great team. It seems like this team knows how to use each other and really knows how to play like a team. Back and forth, you see them playing great defense, great offense. Everybody is sharing the ball. It's going to be fun to watch in this postseason. Yeah, they got some great hometown fans there in Golden State. But speaking of some hometown fans, the Toronto Blue Jays finally got off the schneid, Nick. They got a big win for these Blue Jay fans right here in Toronto with a huge 7-2 win over the New York Yankees. Yeah, seven runs they scored. They've been lacking in the offense their uh, first few games in this season, but they got seven runs yesterday, and hopefully that can carry into tonight as they go up uh, against the Yankees once again. Yeah, you got to hope so. Marcus Stroman on the mound looking for a big performance. And, I mean, if they can get anywhere as good as they were last year and have a playoff run, it's going to be a lot of fun. Speaking of a lot of fun, Nick, we're going to check in with our sports entertainment reporter right now, Sarah Ferreira. Sarah, please tell me you're finally going to talk about sports. Well, Kobe Bryant did have his last game ever in the NBA, but James Corden did get Instagram, and obviously his first picture was with Selena Gomez because she's going to be on his show, Carpool Karaoke, which if you don't know what it is, it's a super cool show where you go in the car with James Corden and you end up singing the whole way. You learn about all their juicy secrets and pretty much their whole life. So I can't sing. But, hey, James Corden, I'd love to be on your show, and I can sing in the shower, so I think we'd make a really great show. J-Lo was on the show last week, too, and James took her phone, asked, who's your most famous celebrity? And, of course, it's Leonardo DiCaprio. So, long story short, they text each other back. J-Lo calls him baby. He texts back, and Leo calls her boo-boo. So, is there something going on there? You be the judge. If you're a big fan of the Kardashians, which I kind of am, Cocktails with Chloe was canceled after 14 episodes. It was on for a long stretch. But I guess a lot of people didn't really like it. They didn't really have a good rep for having shows anyways besides Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Their mom, Kris Jenner, had her own show called Kris, how original. And of course that was cancelled too. So let's just say you guys should stick to, you know, plastic surgery, reality, all that stuff because this TV talk show thing, it's not working out for you. And lastly, going to local entertainment, our own Stephen Carney is getting married to Eden. And of course he's not a big fan of Disney, but that's okay, because he will cave eventually and get this amazing, beautiful cake where, you know, it has Disney projected on the cake and, like, the carriage and everything and saying, we'll live happily ever after. I know he's going to hate me for this, because this isn't even about sports, 
but he's getting married and that's super important and congratulations I guess. Well, Nick, not, uh, not too sure how that relates to sports, but either way, I guess we have to move on to the Leafs now. And they have a couple signings, Nazem Kadri and Morgan Riley. Good pickups here. Oh, definitely some great pickups. They signed both Nazem Kadri and Morgan Riley to six-year deals. And when you look at the price that they got both of these guys for, pretty good asking price. Oh, 100%. Morgan Riley, six-year, $30 million deal. Kadri, six-year, 27. Nassim Kadri, you know what, that's a pretty fair deal that you can save for both players and the team, 4.5 season, but Morgan Riley, Nick, in a couple of years, this might be the best contract in the entire NHL. I think this guy's going to be a superstar. A lot of people are talking about this guy being possibly being the future captain of the Toronto Maple Leafs, and to get him for $5 million per for six season, you're going to see him grow. He's already grown his three years with the Toronto Maple Leafs. And he's only going to get better from here. But do you think this takes him out of the running for Steven Stamkos? Uh, you know what? I don't think it does because you can always move a guy like you know Tyler Bozak or free up some cap space somehow. But I don't put it past his staff. Lula Morello, Brandon Shannon seem to know what they're doing. It looks like they're planning something big. And Nick, speaking of planning something big, uh, there's a, an emerging star in the WWE who's planning something big. And our very own wrestling reporter, Corey Graham, Got a one-on-one -on -one exclusive right now. We're going to throw right live to Corey Graham. Corey, let's, let us know about how crazy this guy is. Well, it's been an exciting week following WrestleMania, and the WWE is patiently awaiting the challenger for the championship title. Now, we're pleased to announce that we're going to have him here for the first time on this show. Without further ado, the one, the only, Putters. Oh, yeah, there we go. Back in front of the big time with my boy, Corey. I've never seen you before in my life. Um, so anyways, uh, tell us what you're all about, Putters. I'm all about getting money, getting big, getting them drugs, and then going out and performing in front of the ring. I get my putter from under the ring, and I smack it in your face! Okay, but I'm gonna have to tell you, we're doing live TV here. You're gonna have to keep it PG. PG sucks, you take that, shove it up your ass, because it's all rated R! Okay, well, b back to the putter here. A putter? Are you, are you a golf fan, or what? I'm not, God, I'm not familiar with that. God, I don't know what that is. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, also a putter. I mean, you're going. That's it. You know the revolting blob is going to kick your ass, right? The revolting blob. The only one's ass. The only ass that he can kick is his mom's ass. He's that type of person. I am not that type of person. I mean, he he is the champion, so he's there. He's the champion one time, out of seventeen times. You've never had a match. <laughs> Okay, well, uh, that's it for us here. Turn into SmackDown on Friday to see what happens. Back to you guys. Okay then, well, uh, that's the putters. Uh, <laughs> no explanation either there, man. <laughs> yeah, he's a special one, Steve. Real special. Okay, Nick, before we uh, move away from talking about some crazy sports like wrestling, we got to talk about the Toronto Raptors. They're finally getting back into the playoff groove this Saturday. I am so excited. How pumped are you? Oh, I'm extremely pumped. After seeing what they did last season in the first round, getting swept by Washington Wizards, I want to see this team make a deep playoff run. They got the pieces. They're a competitive team. I want to see them get to that Eastern Conference Final. Uh, taking on the Pacers, they should have a pretty decent advantage here. Paul George really is the only superstar that Indiana has right now. And of course, the Raptors have Lowry and DeRozan in the backcourt. Really should be a lot of fun. And Nick, who are you looking for to have a big, big performance here? It's got to be Kyle Lowry and Demar, right? Well, of course. These guys are friends on and off the court. They've been a dynamic duo throughout the entire season for the Raptors. I'm definitely expecting them to have a big performance for the Raptors. But the key guy that I'm looking for is Bismack Biombo. He's been a force on the defensive glass for the Raptors this season behind Jonas Valanciunas, doing an excellent job. Going to look for him to be big in the series as well. Yeah, I really think Demar DeRozan is going to step up here. He's you know looking for that big, huge contract. If he has a huge playoff performance, he's going to be a max player. So the Raptors have that to look forward to. And if they have a deep run in this playoffs, we all know it's going to be crazy outside the ACC and inside the ACC. Jurassic Park, Raptors Square, it's going to be buzzing down there. Oh, it's going to be incredible down there. Last year they had Jurassic Park down there. It was crazy. There was fans all over the place. All these fans showed up and cheered on the team. Too bad they got swept. But hopefully this year if they advance, the turnout's going to be huge. Tune in this weekend. That's when things get all started down at the ACC. The Raptors, of course, going to be hosting the first two games, and we all can't wait. For our wrestler reporter, Corey Graham, and the special the putters is, I guess, what he's going by, right? And our sports and entertainment reporter, Sarah Ferreira, Nicholas DiCarlo, and the entire crew here. I'm Steve Carney. Thank you for joining us here at Six Sports. We'll see you next time, Toronto.